The Arrhenius theory of acids and bases defines an acid as a substance that releases protons in solution, and a base as a substance that releases hydroxide ions in solution. We know that ammonia can act as a base and exhibits alkaline properties, but contains no hydroxide ions. How is this possible? In this lesson, we will learn about the bronsted lowry theory of acids and bases, which fills in the gaps in the Arrhenius theory. You have learned that acids are substances with a pH lower than 7. We can test for acids using universal indicator solution, or paper, which turns red or orange, all depending on the strength of the acid. Blue litmus paper also turns red in the presence of an acid. An example of an acid that you are likely familiar with is hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen chloride dissolves in water to give hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen chloride will dissociate to give a proton and a chloride ion. The proton is not just released, but it is transferred to another substance. For our example, water accepts the proton to form a hydronium ion. A hydronium ion is also known as an oxonium ion. A bronsted lowry acid is a substance that releases or donates protons in solution, in our case, hydrogen chloride. A bronsted lowry base is a substance that accepts protons in solutions, in our case, water. Notice that the definition of a bronsted lowry acid or base is not a function of pH. So an acid-base reaction, according to the bronsted lowry theory, involves the transfer of a proton from one substance to another. In the introduction, we mentioned that ammonia acts as a base even though it does not release hydroxide ions, which is stipulated in the Arrhenius theory. When ammonia dissolves in water, it accepts a proton from water. Notice that this reaction also involves a proton transfer. Can you figure out which substance is acting as an acid in this example? Which is acting as a base? Please pause the lesson to think about this and resume when you are ready. In this example, water acts as a bronsted lowry acid because it releases a proton. Ammonia acts as a bronsted lowry base because it accepts a proton. So a base, according to the bronsted lowry theory, does not need to have a pH greater than 7, or turn red litmus paper blue, or turn universal indicator solution or paper blue or purple. The only requirement is that it is able to accept protons. Have you noticed that water acted as a base in our first example, but as an acid in the second example? Substances that can act as either an acid or a base are amphoteric. In conclusion, according to the bronsted lowry theory, an acid is a substance that dissociates to release or donate protons. A bronsted lowry base is a substance that accepts protons. Therefore, an acid-based reaction, according to this theory, involves the transfer of a proton.